In today's video, I'm going to share five creative ways you can use with the brand new Divi icons. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. Let's get started. All right, so let's start by uh, creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new. So let's just call this page icons. So I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. All right, so for this design, we're going to build from scratch and we are going to go with two equal columns. So I'll just add all my designs this way. So let's search for our icon module. So here it is, I'm gonna select it and I'm just gonna snap everything over here to the left so I can see what I'm designing. So in this first example, we are gonna do a hover effect. So let's first look for our icon. So I'm over here. Let me just see what icon I can use for this. So let's go with, um, let's, let's go with this one here. All right, so that's our icon there. Now it's time to customize it. So I'm gonna come over here to design and you can also uh, go directly here or you can hover over here and then select your icon that way. So anyway, let's do it this way. I'm gonna select that and that's gonna be my icon. If you want to reduce the size, you can just reduce the size by just dragging it like that, okay? So now to add our hover effect, I can just click over here on this arrow, click on that, click on the hover tab. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to increase the size a little bit. Okay, let's go to 70. So you can see here, that's the hover. And over here on the color as well, I can also change the color. So I'm gonna come over here and add my hover color. Okay, so let's save that. And now to see our hover in motion, I need to exit the visual builder. So I'm gonna click on exit. And now you can see it is increasing in size and the color is changing. So that's the first example. Now let's move on to our next example. And this time we are going to animate our icon. So I'm gonna come over here and let's search for our icon as well. One more time and uh, let's choose. And this time let's go for line icons. So now I'm just gonna go through here and see what I can go with. And you know what, let's go with, um, let's go with this one right here. All right, so that's our line icon. I'm gonna come over here to design and I'm also going to go into the icon. So we're going to choose similar colors like I did before. So I'm gonna select my color like that, reduce the size a little bit. You know what? Let's be more creative here with the colors. Let's choose a different color. So I'm gonna go with that. All right, so now that I have my color over here, I can scroll down to animation and I can now add my animations. You can see there I've got bounce, I've got flip, I've got fade. So there's quite a few I can use here. I can also add a zoom here, but you know what? For this, I'm gonna add a bounce. So that's the second example of what we can do to uh, really spice up our icons. All right, so let's move on to the next one. So for this, I'm just gonna add another column. So here, let's search for our icons as well. I'm gonna select that. So this time around, so this time around, again, I'm going to choose uh, an icon here. So this time I'm gonna go with this one. So that's my icon. And what I'm also going to do next is to give this a border because we don't just wanna use these icons as they are. So I wanna add a border around it. So I'm going to go now into design and then go over here to border and select my border. So I'm gonna make it a bit thick. So let's go with about eight. And I'm also going to give this some rounded corners just a little bit, just to soften it up a little bit. And as you can see here, we have a bit of a problem because we have our icon here way too close to our design. In fact, let's bring this down a little bit. Let's go maybe six. Okay, so let's add our color here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give this some breathing space. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and let's go with uh, say 2%. I'm gonna do this all sides because just the top and bottom doesn't work. We just need this all sides. So now that I have this 2% initially, I'm going to increase it now to about 4%. And I'm also gonna do the same here, 4%. So all we have to do now is to go into the icon and change a bit of the design there. So I'm gonna reduce the size to about um, 60 and then change the color. So now we have our icon here in a border but of course you can use different uh, style icons. And, um, but I think this one works really well for us. If you feel that the border is a bit too much, you can always come over here and reduce it, uh, maybe to about say four. And I think that's much better because we don't want our uh, border to be very, very um, 
strong. So this looks much better now. And again, you can play around with the size of the icon itself. So let's reduce it. Let's reduce this down a little bit more to about say 48. So I think that's a very good size. Okay, brilliant. So let's move on to the next example. And the next example here is going to be icons that we can use on buttons. So I'm gonna search for my button here and uh, select it. And then I'm just gonna say it download now. Right, so the next step is to come over here on design. And what I'm going to do now is to go to the button here and activate use custom styles for button. So with that activated, I am now going to style this button. So first of all, uh, let's have a solid button. So I'm gonna go with, in fact, let's have white as our text color and blue as our background color. So you can see here, this is updated now. So by default, we have this icon that shows here this little arrow thingy. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to change that. But before I do that, I wanna go to the button font and change my font to say Poppins. So that's the font I like using. We're gonna make it all caps. And we're also gonna make this bold. Okay, let's make it nice and bold. And I'm also going to reduce the size a little bit because right now we're on 20. Let's go down to about 18. Right, so I think that bold is a bit too much, don't you think? Let's try semi-bold. Right, so let's come over here. I think that's better. All right, so now it's time to add our icons. So for our icon, for download, let's see what comes out when I search for download. Here we go. So we have quite a few here that we can use. So we have this arrow, we have the zip file. So let's go with the zip file. So when I hover over here, you can see that my zip file is showing over there. So we can uh, customize this further by adding our icon placement. So I would like this to the left, right? And I also like to see this icon on the actual button. But here we have a problem because we can't really see our icon because it is way too close to the side here. So what we're gonna do now is to come over here to spacing and we're gonna add some spacing both to the left and the right. So I'm just gonna add say 2% on both sides for now. Then we're gonna increase that to about, um, let's go with uh, say 10%. Okay, let's nudge just a little bit. Okay, we're on 10% now. But as I'm looking at this, we have more space over here to the right. So I'm gonna break the chain and bring this down a little bit. So let's go with uh, 6%. So I think that's what works here. Okay, so now for the top and bottom, let's add 2%. And this can be applied both to the top and the bottom. So with this all set now, you can just uh, play around with this until you're happy with the size of the padding. So now that we have this, you can now decide to either add a hover effect uh, but the most important thing is you want to come over here to content and then add your link over here. So it's very, very important that you add your link. And this could be a link to the download. So when they click on the button here, it gets downloaded right away. Okay. So that is our fifth example. You, uh, fourth example, using our icon in different scenarios. All right. So let's add another one. So I'm going to come over here, single column. And again, I'm going to choose my uh, icon. Now, if you didn't know, we can actually link our icon to, to a specific page or we can link to pretty much anywhere on our site. So let's say you want to direct someone to bonuses or presents. So here it is, I've chosen my icon here and I'm just gonna click here on the check mark. So with that selected now, what we can do is we can come over here to the link itself and give a URL to the actual icon. So this icon now will have a URL right here. And then we can further go ahead and design this by coming over here to icon. We can reduce the size a little bit or increase the icon. We can pretty much do whatever we wanna do here and uh, give this a color as well. So let's give it a color. So this will work really well. Say you want to give a present away or a giveaway, whatever it is, and uh, just use this icon as that. So this will work really well. Now, what we can also do is we can transform this. So when uh, when we hover over it, we can uh, perhaps maybe, you know, expand it, you know, zoom out. So let's try and do that now. So I'm gonna come over here to my hover effect. I'm going to increase this a little bit, but first of all, I need to make sure I click over here, right? So that my effect happens on the hover. So let's go for 110. I know it's uh, it's a bit too much. We can also adjust our animation here if we need to, but you know what? 
we don't need any animations here because this is actually our animation. Okay, so now that I have this all set, it's, it has its URL and we also have the effect. So now I'm going to save. I'm also going to save this page and exit the Visual Builder. So I'm going to come over here. Now, we can't see our effect here if our Visual Builder is there. We need to make sure that uh, we exit the Visual Builder before we can see the effect. So look at this one. This is our first one. The color is changing on hover. This one here has our border. This one here is our download. And this one here is an animation. Now you're only able to see that when I refresh the page like that. And there we go. There's our animation. And this one here uh, zooms in and zooms out on hover. So you can use these icons creatively in your designs moving forward. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments box below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and a bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.